Ever get a piece of gear and it just immediately made everything better? Now, that is definitely not the norm. However, this one piece of gear, it did it for me. And uh, I'm gonna tell you all about it, so stick around. What's going on everyone, my name is Josh Rizepka and today I wanna share a piece of gear that changed my life. Not exaggerating, this piece of gear, uh, I never leave home without it and it really, it has made everything better. What am I talking about? Well, this clip-on microphone, the Shure Beta 98H, and I know, Shure, you're thinking to yourself, how could a microphone change my life? Well, let me tell you all about it. It allows me to perform better. It allows me to really focus on the music even more. There are a lot of factors that a lot of people, they just don't consider as benefits, as reasons to get a clip-on microphone. And if you haven't used a clip-on microphone extensively, you're not gonna realize these things. So this is what I wanna share with all of you today. Now, before I started using a clip-on microphone, I realized that I was aligning my body to the microphone. If my music stand was here and the microphone was here, you know, I was pointing towards the microphone in order to play. And whenever I did this, it was negatively affecting my playing because my posture was thrown off. And sometimes the microphone is here, you've got pages of sheet music, and you've got to kind of, you know, point to the microphone and then look at a, at a very awkward angle in order to read the music when we're not standing with a natural posture. It hurts our breathing, which then affects our sound and our endurance and our range. Uh, it negatively affects everything. And this isn't the first thought that goes into most people's minds when they're looking at a microphone and playing. However, after using a clip-on microphone for years, uh, this is something that I've come to realize. I found that my performances are better. I am more consistent. I'm playing up to my full ability because I'm not focused on the microphone or any gear. I'm just focused on the music. I'm focused on breathing and playing and communicating with the rest of the band. When you're at home, when is the last time during your practice session that uh, you set up a microphone and practiced playing into that microphone? Uh, does it happen often? Does it happen ever? I'm willing to bet that practically none of you ever set up a microphone at home and practice playing into it. When we get to gigs, we are expected to point our bell into a microphone and play. More often than not, it is not in the right position. It is not somewhere that uh, it allows us to have a natural posture and play. It's usually off to the side, uh, maybe below or above the music stand. We don't always show up to a gig where they have a boom stand, you know, so uh, this is a boom stand and, you know, it's got an arm and you can really adjust it and point it wherever you want it to be. That isn't always the case. Most of the time we show up, there is a microphone on a standard stand and, well, it isn't in a good position to play. We want to have the most consistent sound through the PA system uh, as possible. In order for that to happen, we need to maintain the same distance from the microphone. During sound check, the sound person is going to set levels. And basically what they're doing is they are adjusting the gain, the sensitivity of your microphone um, to be at a good level to pick you up from where you're pointing your bell. When you are moving, when you are playing and you're reading music and your bell is moving a little bit, uh, it throws all of that out the window. It really affects it in a negative way and you're not gonna sound as good as you could in the house because the sound levels aren't going to be consistent. You can't be too far away from the microphone, otherwise the sound person is gonna to have to jack up the gain. You can only increase the gain so much before it gets too sensitive and you start getting feedback. So what's the best solution? Well, in my opinion, that is to have a clip-on microphone because check this out. The microphone attaches to your bell. It is always the same distance. And this is gonna help you sound better. And furthermore, it is going to help whoever is running sound to make sure that you sound as good as possible. It is gonna make their job easier. And at the end of the day, we need to acknowledge and realize that um, there is only so much control that we have. We want to be in the best position for whoever's running sound, whoever is managing uh, all of the microphones to allow us to sound our best. Now, I mentioned that sometimes it is not always within our control. Uh, we are playing big shows, there are people running the sound, there are a lot of moving parts. Depending on the circumstances, 
the acoustic sound coming out of your trumpet is not the primary sound that everyone in the theater is hearing. They are hearing the amplified sound out of the speakers, the line array. And that is particularly the case if you are playing uh, with other amplified instruments. You're playing with guitars and basses and keyboards and, and singers where everyone is being amplified. Well, you're being amplified too. And you wanna make sure that your signal is as even as possible because the guitar player, the keyboard player, the bass player, they're not worrying about a microphone uh, kind of coming in and out if they move their position a little bit because it is a digital signal that they're sending out of their instrument. We need to worry about that if the microphone isn't in a static position clipped onto the end of our bell. So that is the real biggie. This microphone right here, it allows me to play more naturally with a better posture. And also if you're playing in a band where you've got dance moves, you're moving around, of course you need something that is going to clip onto your bell. Now, as I mentioned, I always carry this microphone with me. It lives in the front pocket of my case. And I have never had an instance where I've rolled up to a gig and I've you know, found whoever is running sound and I've said, hey, I've got a clip on microphone. Do you mind if I use that instead? I've never had them tell me no because they know that this is gonna make their job easier, that they are going to get a more consistent sound out of the trumpet. Additionally, they're gonna be able to kind of clean up the stage a little bit and get rid of one of the microphone stands. So, um, you know, visually, it's gonna look a little less cluttered on stage. Now, I mentioned earlier, this is the Shure Beta 98H. Uh, it takes phantom power, so that's something to keep in mind. And this microphone, it is great for mutes. I'm not joking, this is the best microphone for mutes. Um, any clip-on microphone is gonna be great for mutes, but this one in particular, uh, it works so well. Check this out. Harman mute goes right in the bell, and look at this. You can adjust it to be exactly where you want it to be. This is what you want when you're playing into a Harman. It is so hard to play a, a Harman mute into a microphone on a stand and, and just kind of like maintain that same distance. It is so important uh, for a Harman mute in particular you're gonna get a great result if you use a clip-on with a Harman. And this works with all mutes. Check this out. Here I've got a straight mute, just so you can see. You can just clip it in like that if you're playing theater shows or, or you're playing uh, uh, you know, in some type of ensemble where you're using mutes. You don't have to worry um, about using one of these clip-on microphones. Even with a cup mute, check this out. You can plug it in. Depending on the sound you want, you can experiment. You can have the microphone be uh, near the end, or you can kind of put it to the side near the opening uh, in between the bell and the mute, and then you're gonna get a little bit different sound. So at the end of the day, this is gonna make your life easier. And uh, that's why I said that this piece of gear changed my life, because it literally made all of my live performances better. And uh, now I notice it. If I show up and I'm in a situation where I can't use this, um, I'm just like, I'm not, I don't want to say I'm bummed, but it's like I really, really miss it because I know that I can play my best when I'm not worrying about gear. Now, this video is not sponsored. Um, I love Shure. I've been using their uh, clip-on microphone here and their in-ear monitors for years. Uh, they make great stuff. And as I mentioned, this was $209 and it is worth every single penny. Um, if you play weddings, if you do you know, private events, corporate things, if you are playing salsa, if you are playing in a rock band, you wanna have this microphone. Uh, I promise you will thank me once you get it. And that's my story about how one piece of gear changed my life. It made every single live gig better. And uh, let me know in the comments below what you think. If you've got a clip-on microphone, which one you use. And uh, while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe. It really makes a very big difference. I hope you found this video helpful. I wanna thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.